You don't know I'm a secret homosexual, do you? No, I saw that, actually. A, a deeply, a deeply, according to you, a deeply, deeply closeted homosexual is what you said. Do you remember? Yes, I do. I can't believe you. Well, I trust you. You do your due diligence. <laughs> I'm an Iranian homo. <laughs> I am. Hey, Ron Kagani, I think it's impossible not to love you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, uh, I like when you say Ronnie and homo a lot. <laughs> I think what you're saying, Norm, if he just come out here and just said homo over and over again, he'd be your favorite comic of all time? I'm saying if I had the guts to come out of the closet, he'd be the guy I'd go to first. Yeah! Yeah. There's not a lot of norms, to tell you the truth. Not a lot of Canadian norms. And just you might be the only general. Canadian norm. When you know your own name, you see it in popular culture used, you know, and norm is always like, I noticed this ever since I was a kid. When I was very young, there was a show called Peyton Place with Ryan O'Neill as a sexy brother. Norm is, uh, you know, deeply closeted <laughs> man. And, uh, and uh, didn't say it straight out, but he was tortured. Everybody blamed Jessica Simpson for Tony Romo's poor performance. That's not fair. And everyone blamed me the year Peyton Manning didn't go so good. And wait, I've said too much. But, you know, it still makes me feel bad, you know, getting catcalled in the streets of Indy. That's not fun. Fuck, marry, kill. I don't know what... Oh, who would I rather fuck? Who would you... Yeah, who would, would you choose to fuck? Who would you choose to marry? And who would you choose to kill? Rob Schneider, David Spade, Norm MacDonald. You want to kill Spade. Kill Spade. That's so easy, so simple. So now, who now? <laughs> no fighting back. God damn it! Now it's down to Schneider and me and it's for fuck. fuck or marry. I know which one I want. Ah. <laughs> well, I guess the biggest thing that nobody knows about me is I'm a deeply closeted gay man. What? I mean, that's. I mean, that's. You're a gay man. I'm not gay. I said I'm deeply closeted. <laughs> what? I'm Wait. as straight as an arrow. <laughs> What's something people don't know about you? I'm a deeply closeted gay guy. No kidding. Well, I'm not coming out, though. Wait a minute. What are you revealing here today? I'm, I'm not revealing anything. I'm saying I'm deeply closeted. Well, that means you're gay. Well, I wouldn't say that. Why would I say that? I'm deeply closeted. So you're a gay man who won't admit it. No, no. Do you know what deeply closeted means? Yeah. It means a man who will not acknowledge that he's gay. Yes. So I'm telling you, I'm not gay. <laughs> no, but I... That means you're very, very gay, but you don't want to come out. You're so closeted... That I refuse to say I'm gay. Right. Exactly. But that... Doesn't that mean you're gay? Hey, 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 easy, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this book will reveal much. <laughs> you know, on your last show, I came out as a deeply closeted gay man. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I'm not gay. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> David, uh, on one time and through, this is a true story, and Dave, you'll, you'll attest to this, bought me a beautiful leather jacket. Oh, uh, that's right. Well out of my price range. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> now, I'm no one to take charity. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying I sucked him off. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise well, ending. You're making me out to be Hal Holbrook over here. <laughs> uh, 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 if I call a person gay, that man, that ain't no insult. It's a good thing nowadays. Yeah. yeah, if you say it's an insult, you're the homophobe, not me. Correct. Yeah. Supreme Court says so. That's absolutely. Uh, I love everybody. You know what I mean? Without love, what do we got? I don't care if a guy's 
a guy, a girl, a guy, girl, I couldn't care less. I love them all. What do you I'll, make of... Uh, I'll have sex with any of them. So you're the bee? Huh? You're the bee. No, I'm just, I'm a person that is so tolerant that I would have sex with an L, a G, a B, or a T. Isn't that nice? But I would not have sex with a straight person. It's about the cold out. We're here to stay and run this town. Bring in the heat, bring in the energy. We're the queens of the festival, can't you see? We're the queens of the festival, here to rule the stage. Dropping beats and make your body engage. From sunrise to sunset, we're taking it all. We're the festival queens standing tall. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Dawn till dusk, we command the crowd's gaze Every beat, every rhyme sets a soul to place With swagger and style, we own this domain In the realm of music, we reign supreme, no chain Feel the rhythm pulsating through your veins Our verses ignite, fire never wane With each lyric, we spit each move we make We carve our legacy, leaving jaws to quake We're the queens of the festival, here to rule the stage Dropping beats and make your body engage From sunrise to sunset, we're taking it all no crown needed at all as the crown jewel in the kingdom of sound We never played the fool with beats as our scepters and rhymes as our decree We're the sovereigns of rhythm for all to see So bow down to the queens as we own the night In the kingdom of music we're the guiding light From the first note to the last we'll always be The festival queens forever wild and free <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.